Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing a what I'm bringing to Europe with me. Um, this is basically just going to be like clothes slash outfits um, and camera stuff, just because I'm not trying to bring that much. I'm going to be landing in London and then immediately taking the train to Paris, then I'll spend like a day in Versailles and then go back to London. Um, and for this trip, pretty much what I'm going to try to do is just bring very few amount of clothes, and then hopefully um, I can thrift shop on the way there and find some pieces. like I I want to find a pair of blue jeans or a pair of slacks, I want to get some t-shirts, uh, maybe a jacket or a hoodie, um, and hopefully find a pair of shoes. So the goal is to bring as little as possible and then bring back a bunch of stuff with me. Um, I'm going to get some things from my friends, like little presents, but hopefully I can get a lot of thrifting done while I'm there or just some general shopping just because I'm going to bring quite a bit of spending money just to treat myself. But let's just get right into the video and let me show you the stuff I'm bringing with me. Because I will be traveling with such little amount of clothes, I wanted to have a few staple pieces that will make my outfits look really really put together even though I won't be having that many pieces with me. So one of the first things I'm going to be bringing in my carry-on is this denim jacket um, with all my pins and patches. Like I said I'm only going to be bringing a few things so it's going to be kind of hard to make my outfits look very different um, and very unique so I feel like having some statement pieces like this um, will just make them look a lot more put together and like I put a lot more thought into them even though I really didn't just because I have so little with me. I really want to bring this jacket with me just because I'm going to be doing some senior pictures while I'm there. I'm not actually hiring anyone, but um, when I find somewhere with a cute backdrop or I see a potential photo opportunity, I'm just going to have my parents take a few pictures and kind of teach them along the way. Um, and hopefully I can get some good ones, but if not, it'll just be good to have. The next thing is something that I've kind of been up in the air about, and it's bringing this um, plain gray hoodie. It was between this one and a black hoodie that I have with a graphic on it. And I'm not really sure just because I have a lot of black things I'm already bringing, like black jeans, um, black jackets, so I feel like having a gray hoodie will be really helpful um, just for layering, and so I can stay a little away from wearing all black and having a little bit more color diversity in my outfits. The next thing is something I got yesterday from Goodwill, and I'm debating on whether I should put it in a thrift lookbook or a thrift haul video. What I had in mind for the thrift lookbook was just getting a bunch of pieces and instead of just like talking about them like a collective haul, I would make outfits out of them and just show you how like having five or six different things you get from Goodwill can be um, arranged into a bunch of different outfits. But it's actually this black and white striped turtleneck. Um, I feel like this would be really interesting underneath the denim jacket or um, underneath this black jacket I'm, I'll talk about a little bit later. It is by Tommy Hilfiger. I don't know if that's how to pronounce it, but um, it has a little symbol right there. It does run a little bit small, but also a little bit long. So I wish it was a little bit more cropped and a little bit more breathable. Um, and I also kind of don't like how this white line right here kind of gets cut off. I kind of wish it would go all the way across just because it blends kind of weird with the black. But I could also definitely see myself taking some senior pictures in this. Um, I'm really excited to see what I can wear with it, and hopefully I'll be able to make a Europe lookbook while I'm gone so you'll see how I style it eventually. And along with layering, I'm going to be bringing two flannels. One of them I'm going to be wearing with the outfit I wear to the airport. Um, I'll try to record a video of the outfit I'm planning on wearing just because I like to have um, as much of my bulky things I can as possible, so I'll usually wear like a t-shirt, a flannel, a hoodie, and a jacket it and then probably some boots just because um, it saves a lot of space in your bag. I'm bringing my Doc Martens and so instead of having to pack those and taking up a lot of space I can just wear them with me and they can be on me the whole time. But the first flannel is this non-flannel material. It's kind of just like a long sleeve button up. Um, it's in this nice red color. I wore this like almost every day a couple summers ago. The other flannel I'll show in a little bit um, is actual flannel material but I wanted to have this just so I don't have to wear anything under it just because it is like a softer material versus the warm material of the other flannel. So it'd be nice if I can wear this on its own or just with this in a jacket so I don't have to wear anything underneath it just because I'm only bringing a couple of shirts um, so I can find some at thrift stores. But the other flannel is this one, and it is this. It's still a really soft flannel material. I just feel like it wouldn't be as comfortable wearing a t-shirt underneath it. Um, obviously, I have worn it on its own as well, but I feel like that'll just get really hot, especially since um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be pretty cold while we're there, like in the lower... 70s and 60s I believe so when we go into stores that are probably hot I feel like it's just like 
way too much if you're having like bare skin on like a warm flannel. I feel like it's just a lot easier to have a t-shirt underneath. But that'll be really great for layering since I'll have a hoodie and a jacket. I've been so excited about the fall time just because I love layering so much. I really don't like fall, or not fall, I really don't like summer fashion just because it's really really plain and there's not much you can do. But in the fall you can layer so many different ways. But the first t-shirt I will be bringing with me is just this plain white one. I might actually bring two or three of these just so I'll always have just a plain white t-shirt um, if one of them is dirty. These are great for layering and wearing on their own so I'll probably definitely bring a couple of them just so I can have some different options with um, the style. And kind of similarly is this skull um, crop shirt I have. Um, I cut it myself right here. It's nice though because it is that crop material and the only thing on the front is to the side so if I wear a jacket that covers it up it just looks like a cropped white t-shirt which I really really enjoy. But I also really love the graphic so if it is showing I'm not upset about it. Um, so I definitely wanted to bring this and the other shirt um, I have is this plain gray one. I might bring another one of these or like a long sleeve one of these just because um, in case I don't find that many shirts at thrift stores I like I just want to be prepared just in case. But this one is a little bit thicker material, so it will be good for layering or just wearing on its own. Um, I don't think I'll really have any chances to wear just like a plain t-shirt on any of the days. There might be a day where it's more warm than others, but I feel like the forecast for most of the day said like partly cloudy, partly rainy, um, that kind of temperature or weather. But where the rain is concerned, I'm gonna be bringing this huge black rainproof jacket I have. Um, I wore this to New York. I'm probably gonna be wearing this to the airport just so I can save some space in my luggage just because it is pretty big. Um, it is kind of annoying having to wear it and it'll be really hot, but it will definitely be worth it when I have the accessibility or the availability to um, be able to put a bunch of stuff in my suitcase coming back just because I'm not going to put a lot of stuff on it going the way there. As for pants are concerned, I was planning on just bringing one pair of black jeans and one pair of blue jeans, but I was kind of looking in my wardrobe and there's not really any blue jeans that I really, really like, or at least like enough to bring with me. So the first pair are these black Levi jeans, um, the 3030s that I was talking about um, in my last thrift haul, I believe. They're really loose at the bottom, so which is nice in case it is raining. One of the worst things is wearing skinny jeans when it's raining and it's having that wet material clinging to your leg so it'll be really great to have um, just some distance between my leg and the jeans. Normally I would be wearing those pants on the plane just because they are such a thick material there will take up a lot of space in my luggage but it's gonna be I think a 12 hour flight from where I'm flying from and so I really don't want to spend that long um, on a plane in denim jeans so I am going to be bringing my H&M slim fit uh, I don't really know what you'd call these. They're not like, they're not slacks necessarily, but they are just like a very um, casual black pair of pants. And they have pockets on their side, so they're kind of like cargo style, but they're really, really comfortable, at least as far as pants go. Um, and I'll definitely have a lot of breathability with them, and I feel like they'll be comfortable sleeping on the plane with. And my last pair of pants, I'm gonna be bringing these gray slacks with me that are cropped. I showed these in a previous thrift haul, and I talked about how I wanted to wear them with my all white, high top converse um, so I'm definitely gonna be bringing those with me to wear with these and my jeans as far as shoes are concerned I am gonna be bringing my uh, Doc Martens with me um, just for when it's rainy and just so I can walk around in the streets and not really um, worry too much about whether my shoes are getting dirty just because these are already so dirty even though they're easily washed off um, they're just already been so worn that I don't really care how dirty they get just because I know that they'll be fine and it'll just add to the look but for the non rainy days I have my all white leather converse and like I said I am bringing those crop trousers with me um, and these look really really good with them. I was pretty close to bringing the black and white pair of converse and not the all white ones but I want to wear these just because I feel like they fit better with the crop pants just because they're a bigger size than my other high top converse um, and I need that extra length with how cropped the trousers are on the last pair I showed. But I'm also bringing my checkered vans just because of how casual and simple they are to put on like if I'm just like going downstairs in the hotel or if I'm going outside to get some coffee or something um, I can just slip them on really easily. But those are pretty much all the clothing pieces I'm going to be bringing with me. I'll probably have a few more shirts and of course I'm going to be bringing like socks and underwear but I didn't want to talk about those. Um, I just really want to challenge myself to get some good pieces at thrift stores while I'm there um, or just pieces from different stores in general um, so I can get a good collective haul for when I come back. But let's just move into the camera stuff that I'm bringing in case any of you are interested. The camera I'm most excited about is the um, Seagull camera I'm bringing with me or like the Rolleiflex camera. Um, it has a twin lens reflex which means that 
Um, either one of these um, lenses tracks the light and the other one actually takes the picture. I might have got that backwards, but you get the idea. The cool thing about this camera is that you actually look in through the top. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything, but it shows you what is in from the top, and I feel like that's just so cool. Um, and it shoots square format, which is also something I really dig, as you can tell from behind me. And then I'm also going to be bringing my Holga camera just because of how easy and accessible it is. Um, this shoots the same format film as that other camera does, um, and it's called 120 film. It's just like a square format or like bigger. But this is just like a plastic toy camera, and it's what I use to take a lot of the pictures behind me, the black and white ones of New York. They were probably one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken, which was really surprising because I was really scared about using this. I thought all my pictures would come out really horribly or I'd um, accidentally expose the film or something, but I really liked how they came out, so I want to try this again as well as that new camera that I haven't really tried out that much. I do have seven rolls of 120 film that I want to be using, and I'm probably going to use like two of them on the Holga and then the rest on the Seagull just because I want to get more experience with the Seagull just because I feel like it's a really interesting way um, to look at a picture. As for 35 millimeter films go, I'm bringing my Minolta X370. Um, I wanted to do a little bit more 35 millimeter just because I was a little bit disappointed of the 35 millimeter pictures I took in New York. I mean, I really, really did enjoy a lot of them, but compared to the Holga, I just wasn't as happy as with the results. So while on the way home from a road trip, I ordered four rolls of 400 ISO Kodak film and 200 ISO from Fuji film, I believe. So I'm super, super excited to see what pictures I'll be able to create. Um, I've already been kind of um, looking around places and finding out where I'm interested and taking pictures, but I'm pretty much just gonna play it by ear, or I guess by eye. I'm just gonna see what I like as I go and just take pictures along the way. I'm not gonna be trying to put too much pressure on myself to get a certain image. I'm just kinda gonna go and see what happens. And of course, I'm gonna be bringing the camera I'm filming on right now, which is my Canon 6D with the 24 to 105 F4L. And I'm gonna be bringing my 35 millimeter F2 and my 50 millimeter 1.8. I'm bringing the 50 in case I find a place where I wanna get some good headshots of me for my senior pictures, and the 35 millimeter in case I just want to kind of be using a fixed um, focal length and not really having to worry about zooming in or out or just like the weight of the lens I'm using right now. But other than my camera stuff, I'm pretty much just going to be bringing my laptop with my solid state drive and this journal that I have. Now, if you are new to my channel and haven't really seen any of my videos, then you probably haven't seen me talk about this, but whenever I go and travel somewhere, I like to make a Google Mind Maps um, of places I'm interested in visiting. It's not necessarily like every single place I want to go, but if I find a place online that looks interesting, whether I look through the Instagram hashtag or if I just do some research on my own, then I'll put it a note on the map, or I guess I'll put a pin on the map. And then whatever area of the city I am that day, then I'll kind of just try to do as many stops as I can or just whatever looks interesting. I actually started this November of 2017 when I went to LA. Um, so you can kind of see that I made one here, I made one when I went to New York, and I made one when I went to San Francisco. But that's pretty much it. Other than toiletries, I don't think I was really gonna bring anything else, or at least not really anything interesting enough that I wanted to talk about. Hopefully I'll get some good footage while I'm gone. I really want to have at least a lookbook in a collective haul, and maybe a moving pictures video. I don't really know exactly what I do want to do yet, but definitely subscribe if you want to see those. And also, if you've been to either Versailles, Paris, or London, let me know if there are any good thrift stores, coffee shops, places to eat I need to go to. Um, I don't have a whole lot of things on my maps, but I've quite a bit, but anything else will be really appreciated, and I'll see you guys next week in another video. Bye!